a gas processing plant similar to the one proposed in Kakinada SCZ was set up in the year 2006 by Reliance Industries at Gadimoga village about 50 kilometers away from Kakinada SCZ. According to official records, 214 acres of land was purchased by Reliance Industries. A part of this land belonged to the villagers of Gadimoga. <laughs> అంటే <laughs> Though Reliance Industries started with only 214 acres of land, it is now spread over 6,000 acres of revenue land right from Gadi Moga up to Yanam in the neighboring Union territory of Pondicherry. A large part of this land was covered with mangrove forests earlier. The Reliance gas field is spread over an area of 7,500 square kilometers inside the sea. And fishermen are not allowed to fish anywhere near this area. <laughs> Due to the regular flow of vehicles that come to Reliance Industries, the salt pans in the surrounding areas are getting filled with dust. Thus, salt production too has stopped. In the neighboring Union territory of Pondicherry, a jetty was constructed for the ships and vessels that come for Reliance Industries. Now, the fisher folk in this area too are not being allowed to fish. Reliance security boats keep a vigil to prevent the fisher folk from fishing here. Due to the Reliance Industries petrochemical project, more than 30,000 fisher folk, salt workers and farm laborers in the surrounding eight villages have completely lost their livelihoods. As if SEZs and petrochemical investment regions were not enough to destroy the coastal region and its people, the government of Andhra Pradesh issued a governmental order GO34 in February 2008 for setting up the coastal industrial corridor. The idea is to establish various export-oriented manufacturing, chemical and pharmaceutical industries and thermal power plants along the entire 972-kilometer coastline of Andhra Pradesh. In addition, ports will be constructed at various places for exporting the minerals available in the state and for importing coal for the thermal power plants. Besides this, new highways, railways and airports are being planned for facilitating industrial growth. But due to widespread protests from people against the Coastal Corridor project, the government of Andhra Pradesh had to withdraw its controversial GEO in November 2008. Though GEO 34 was withdrawn, the PCPIR and the various notified SEZs have not been withdrawn. 
In addition, all the projects proposed under the Coastal Industrial Corridor were being constructed independently at various places. Thus, though in principle the Coastal Industrial Corridor was cancelled, it is still being established in a piecemeal fashion. Almost all the projects coming up along the coast are highly polluting industries. If this fertile ecosystem that is sustaining the livelihoods of people and providing them with food security is destroyed by these polluting industries, then what will be the fate of the 20 million people who depend on these natural resources? 71 thermal power plants are expected to be set up under the Coastal Industrial Corridor project in Andhra Pradesh. Thermal power plants are one of the most highly polluting industries in the world. People across the globe have been rejecting them. A thousand megawatt capacity thermal power plant was set up by the government-owned National Thermal Power Corporation at Paravada in Vishakapatnam district in 1997. Every day, thousands of tons of coal is burned inside thermal power plants to generate electricity. And the thousands of tons of fly ash that comes as residue is stored in large tailing ponds. Thus, in just one year, millions of tons of fly ash is deposited in the tailing ponds. Many harmful chemicals like sulphur are released when coal is burnt. This causes respiratory disorders, while mercury, which is also released from burning coal, impacts the nervous system and paralyzes people. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> The ash accumulated in the tailing ponds flies all over the area with the breeze and coats like a film on house exteriors, interiors, over people's bodies and even on drinking water stored inside covered pots.